Okay guys, I'm back. My camera was cut off. Yep, it's doing pretty good. After this piece, I need to go eat something. It's my stomach is growing at me. That need breakfast. It's almost lunchtime. to make this one as curved as I can. Okay, you need some tiny stuff to push that one to go into the curve that you want, okay? It's a little bit too much here. So this one can go in there without breaking my paper. I'm gonna push this one as deep as I can, guys. So I don't want to get like a gap look, you know what I mean? This is pretty good. I didn't expect it, the paper to go on and curl up the guys. Really good. Really, really good.
Well, this one a little bit short. On there. Oops. See, I told you. I'm always make a mess. This is the end of the paper. It looks pretty good so far, guys. I just love it. And first, I wasn't sure how am I going to do this, but um, so far, pretty good. Um, I think I'm, I'm gonna alter something on the end here, so I don't know if that matter if I need a little bit of paper to cover there. This is, is A4 is not 12 inches, so that's why it's not go around it. Well, never mind. I think I'm gonna cover this the end there that the paper not reached there. So I guess it doesn't matter. And now I'm going to let's see. I'm gonna cover the wheel with the paper. So I guess when my lace, I can't need the lace. I believe. Or should I use this strip the same as this color? I'm not sure. Uh, use the lace. I'm gonna use this one first because this one really hard to get into it. So you need to use a nail file or something thin to go in there okay, to hold your paper down. So this is look pretty good so far guys.
oh we need inside this pattern paper I think um, I think we might use this one again I think this one not really good yeah but I'm gonna trim this one and I will be right back there okay guys I'm back so I cut this strip for this paper this pattern I'm gonna use this one inside here I cut at uh, 578 yep did it set 578? no what did it say? Uh -huh. no 58 right so I'm gonna use this one because I want this to be bordered they can see so I don't want the paper to hit the back there So I'm going to use the more Posh again. And I might use this one to shade bubble better. So in this small spit, if tiny spit there, you, you can use really thin too. You can, you know, flat stuff to, you know, push that one down. Cody doing really good on his swim license guy, he love it. Get my start on the top. dry on me. <laughs> That's why it's not sticking. I have to move this one real quick. It's not light up. with my Mod Podge Okay, I'm going to shade the bubble look pretty good so far guys I should love these guys simply I do I have to figure out to cover the back piece there but look at this guy it's so awesome I love it so far and 
On the back, I cannot find my good lap paper that my friend bought. Give it to me on my birthday. I don't know where it went. I want to use that one again. If I can find anywhere. Nope. I, I have too much crap in my garden day. I need to clean up. I know, I know I have been saying that a lot, but I <laughs> my friend Bob offered to, you know, come to clean like, no, you won't see my messy house. I will be embarrassed. You will tell everybody, look, oh, look at the house. She's just a mess. Like, no, no way. So, um, I guess I either cover with the paper or paint the whole thing. Ah. Oh. Not sure that I'm going to do take it, so I'm gonna paint it like crackle it. Not gonna good get good crackle because I don't think I'm gonna let it by itself that long. I'm I'm really you know impatient like I don't want to wait. I I simply don't. See, I'm going to try this one. Told you. I'm gonna try this one. Oop, I just stuck somewhere. Guys. Well. Crackle medium, I think I need more crackle medium. You know what, I need to go get more crackle medium. Okay, I'm gonna let this one dry by itself, maybe, uh, well, I should do that one later, on the back, well, so I'm gonna let this one oh, dry a little bit, by, its, by itself, um, I'm not sure about the picture, which one, I'm, um, I mean, the frame, I bought my frame. Let's see. Let me move this one there. So this one, and I bought this one. Let's see which one I like the best because that one is tiny frame. I just worry this one might be too big frame for that. So 
this one can be right there too that the frame or this one and you know what I think I'm gonna use this I, maybe too full there I guess but I like this one so meanwhile we'll wait for the crackle medium dry a little bit not way dry so I'm going to paint this see did Bridget bought me the paintbrush yeah <laughs> I already <laughs> forgot to clean up or dry it for already like ah oh, no sorry bitches <laughs> So, um, you don't have to layer this one, you can use it by itself and then cut the chipboard to back piece this. You know what I mean? Um, let's see, we get this center, uh, the wood coming here, right? So, you want to utilize like, your um, scrap of chipboard. Let's see if I have any chipboard. I'll be right back. Let me go get scrap. Okay, guys, I'm back. So, like if you have a scrap sheet board and then this one the frame on the center of this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to trick the line well we're gonna, not gonna cut exactly the same when I have like a border lap a little bit So that this one can go back there you see that so you can do this for your frame or you know if you want to use because it's the set come only that's it this piece the whole set okay if you want to use the word of your money so you can make like this and you this one for the photo like that I hear the photo on the top of this see so it's just the option, but if you want to get this one really thick, you have yeah, you know, you can layer it together. See the thick look there. So I'm thinking I might just do this one. Yeah, I'm gonna do just that. Okay. So I'm going to paint this frame. I'm not sure what color should I paint or I just leave paint in, in white. So when you paint this uh, tiny stuff delicate like this, you have to be careful don't over paint it. I mean don't get it too wet. You know why? Because this one will come really weak and will break it apart guys. Okay. Because it's so thin, so it's not gonna hold really good with the water, it will, you know, it will fall apart, they have to be careful with it. I'm not sure what color I'm going to get these, the frame, I mean. <clears throat> I see. Let me check on my cracker. sure yet where am I going to put the frame in the base or on this area So 
So if I put outside over here, that mean have to paint on the back too. Then so if I put this one right here, right there, um, or inside, maybe inside, maybe inside the bike because the frame should be protected. I did worry in the long term it might break if I put it outside here. Yeah, let's put it inside the bike. So I don't need to paint the back then. Well, if this uh, the inside that it bothered you, you have you I guess you have to paint it. It bothered you. If not, you don't have to paint. You should paint in the surface. So remember, I told you that when you paint a tiny uh, paint a tiny stuff, you have really really careful because this one will break if you do it too hard on it. Okay. I might do like a tab, not really um, cover all the way because I'm getting pretty tired painting. I'd like to alter stuff, but sometimes it's the painting part, it can be the pain, guys. So now I'm going to um, paint this one with my this color, the fresh tone here from Delta. So I'm gonna coat with a thick cold so I can get the big crackle. Well I have to lay it flat then because otherwise the, if I do this it will the paint will slide down. Hmm. So now I'm going to start with this first. So I'm gonna get the big chunk there. Oh, I haven't give Cody um school about the um, this the bus storage yet. that one dry by itself. Um, let's see what colored frame I'm going to make this. I don't know. Um, I don't want to use the same color because it's too messy. So I'm going to do like a laminate color. Wow. That it would be really cool, huh? I think I can hear my um, garage, the tread can, the tread pickup. Finish. You want to like know where my laminate color of oh, right here? Yep. Now, anything else I'm gonna use in there? I'm not sure yet. So you guys can see my crackle look. Um, I might use trade form outside here. Yeah, I might. And I have some 
sentiment that I want to use. This one I'm going to leave it plain. Um, I might use this one outside. It said love. Yep. So I guess. Not sure what color my trade form going to be, but I'm gonna paint in white first. Alright. I'm trying hardly to finish this one because I have a lot of order to do guys. Especially international it's waiting for me to pack and estimate that shipping. Okay, I'm gonna paint this and my thread form. Not sure anything else. I'm thinking about using the music nose, so I'm not sure, guys. I might use, I might not. So I, oh, okay. I'm not sure if should I use the gate. Let me see. This one is looking pretty good so far. The crackle look. Um, let's see. If I should do the gaze on the door. So I can paint at the same time. I'm not sure it's too much or not because it's cut kind of frame will be inside there is Um, I'm not sure I didn't use that because the sentiment will be somewhere around there. I don't know. So I'm going to stop camera right here and I will.